Hello Procrast Creators and welcome back. So today we are going to focus on the wood grain knot itself. So it's not focusing, but we're going to focus on those bad boys so you can get some good looking knots on your tumblers. So we're going to do that. Um, before we do, if you want to watch the whole process, please click wherever the eye is and watch that video that shows you the whole thing um, from start to finish. So I have a video out there for that. I also have a video that shows the alcohol inks with different colors. So you can also see it in this purple and the green. Um, so I'll post that as well somewhere up there so that you can see both of those. Um, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. I've been getting a lot of good feedback, so I'm thinking it might be. Um, and with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the purpose of this video is really just to show you how I do my knots. So I have already coated this um, with some alcohol inks. Um, I have used espresso, ginger, and latte as the mixture for this particular color just so you can see that um, alcohol 91 percent alcohol is what i use to help move the alcohols the alcohol ink around as you can see on my little tip palette here i have several different um, makeup brush sizes that i will use i'm also going to um, try to do this on a top which I've never done before so um, just gonna try that as well just to see how that turns out and hopefully I can get it to match the color of um, my cup as well um, so what you just saw me do was stick my brush inside of my alcohol because that's what I use to spread the alcohol ink around. Um, it's also what I'm going to use to make the knots. So I'm going to just sit that over there and let that dry a little bit. This brush is a little too wet. Um, but once I only use the bigger brushes when I am actually putting that first coat on and then I go to the brushes that are a little bit smaller um, for when I am actually moving the alcohol inks around to make the knot. So like I said here, I'm just going to, in order to start um, making a knot, all you're doing, ooh, there's a piece of hair on here. Um, all you're doing is just pushing with a, a, a brush that has alcohol on it. Not a lot of alcohol because a lot like this is a little too much for me. Like it's too, if it's too wet, then it, it doesn't do right. I don't know how else to say that. It just doesn't. It's too wet to really move it the way you want to and it may move too much. So um, just something to think about. So here, uh, just so you can see, because I didn't do this in the last brown wood grain video. And like I said, please check out that video as well, because that, that has a lot of what I do on it all the way around. Because like I said, this one hopefully is a quick one or quicker one, because those other videos are like 19, 20, one of them is 25 minutes. So. I want to make this a little shorter for you guys so you can just see that. So here, um, as you can see, I've just kind of made an oval and I've made it up on the cup a good ways. You know, you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. Um, so I like at least one of them to be kind of large. So I'll always do one like this and then I'll do a couple of small ones or maybe even just one other small one. But see how I have it going underneath the cup so it's a continuation. Um, and so I'm just going to do that and I kind of try to make sure then that it lines up. So like that one needed to be 
pushed out some more so that it lines up with what's happening underneath the cup so so that is that so that is my first thing all you so all you saw me do is move that alcohol ink around um, to where I want it so in order to continue this knot and all of these brushes are kind of damp already because I use I cleaned them off before I started because the last one I did was green but I'm just gonna tap it lightly I have a um, nap a paper towel right here um, that I'm just wiping this down on and then I just start moving that alcohol ink again so I'm making my second little and I kind of try to stick with whatever shape that I've done um, maybe not exactly but I try to stick close to where maybe there's a fourth of an inch or so of the ink just making its second um, line so I don't know these videos are always hard to do because I need to look to see what I'm doing but I also need to, to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm doing um, so hopefully you are seeing that where I am just moving that ink around where now I have an inner oval shape so I have two you know that was my first one and then here's my second one and it's going all the way around the cup so um, this is getting kind of light but I think I can just get at least a portion of one more in here so I'm going to again follow what I've already done and I'm just going to push my alcohol ink around so you can see that right there how I'm just making that third little ridge and again I keep that flowing underneath the cup as well because I want it to be as consistent as possible so once I've done this and I've kind of um, you know move that around and it looks good to me and like this one I kind of let my first line my third line run into my second line which I do on occasion um, you know I'm still almost getting my next little ridge groove circle I don't know what to call those another year the don't ring there it is the um, every ring represents like a year or so doesn't it isn't I think I've heard that before so I'm just gonna push this around until I feel like I don't have enough ink to continue to do that and then all you do is add so here's what we have right now right nice right so all we do is then add another coat I mean another coat another drop sometimes to you know I try to get those colors in there depending on how dark or light I want it and then I just move that ink around just because I don't like mine to be super light in the middle um, so I just move that around so then I have something to work with all the way around what I need to do so then once I've done that so like I've just brush that in there so now I'm gonna start shaping that so I'm gonna start moving that to where I'm now making another ring ridge whatever you want to call it so I'm now gonna do that all the way around and like I said just being mindful of what I have here at the bottom already and making sure I stay consistent with that so once I do that 
Um, and the closer and closer I get to the middle, I start to decide, do I want, do I want to, you know, um, so I'll start doing this. I guess this is the best way to say. I start just um, going back and forth. And what I mean by that is, let me get over here for a second. Instead of making a full ring, so here's what I have right now. So instead of making a full ring, I'll just start pushing up. Like that, and then pushing back in the other direction. And then one other thing that you have to be just conscious of. So like I pushed up and then now I'm pushing back in that direction again. See how it's just doing that. And I'll push back down in this direction. Give that another one and then I'll come back up and do it again. And then I'll go back down. So I just do that to get the center of some of mine. Um, and another thing... So I'm just going to do this one all the way to the end. And then sometimes as you're going along, you need to use a smaller brush, um, which that's not too much smaller. So that's where these smaller brushes come into play. And you may, again, just have to put in another little bit of ink and spread that around so that then you can move it the way that you want. So, um, the smaller brushes, I will say, don't seem to hold the ink, mm, don't seem to hold its wetness as long so that you can move it around. So I won't say not hold the ink, but hold the alcohol. So it always seems to be a little bit more of a challenge. It'll start getting dry and and you have to go back and get some more ink. So this had a little bit of green on it, which I actually kind of like that it has that little green from my brush from last time. So I'm not going to like panic over that. But see how I just put that little teeny dot in there just so that I can give myself just a little bit more to work with. So, and you can even like make the center start making it just super dark if you want it or you can just leave it like that so I'm gonna leave this one like that because I kind of like that so that is the first way that I do a ring or a knot I should say um, and then another I guess the only difference in this next way is the way that I do the center so I'm still going to find a spot I'm going to move that alcohol ink around so that I can have a nice little shape of a knot for myself. And then I'm still going to make that in layers. But what I like to do is to, um, I hope you guys can see this. What I like to do is, and I'm going to actually use my smaller brush and make like a swirl. So I'm going to show you what I mean right now. So that's probably too much. So I'm going to just first move this around, right? So that it covers everything that I need it to cover. And I may have to do this a time or two. But then I just start making like that swirl motion and some of this will get covered up when I go to make my next set of rings but I like to go out and then go back in and kind of give it that center oh, you can't see that I like to go around and around and around like this right and then I like to then take that back in 
because it gets dry and it, it just makes it a little bit more defined when you do that for some reason. So I like to do this and then what I'll come back, what I'll go back and do is then finish making some rings, but then I'm not doing, you know, like a center like this. My center has a little bit more of a curve to it. So I kind of mess up some of what I've done kind of mess up some of what I've done by then going and defining some of those rings. Like I said, the smaller brushes, you need to use a little bit more alcohol, but you gotta be careful because see how that made that so much lighter. So you just really need to make sure you just dab it in a little bit and then make sure you brush it off on a paper towel before you do it onto your cup. Because if you don't, then you're going to have a little mess on your hands that you can fix. By all means, you can fix. But, um, you know, it just makes it a little bit more work for you. So, again, I'm going to do that. I'm going to mess with my swirl again right here. And I might even just like leave that like that. So, can you see that? Ta -da 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 -da. So that's really the two ways I do it where I push it one way and then push it another way or I make that little swirl and kind of let it go out like that. So um, that's it. That's all I'm going to show you in this part of the video. Man, it still took a lot of time. So I'm going to have to figure out how to cut that down. But um, so that is the process. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you all the next time.